Hello, everyone. Today we are going to talk about a horror drama film called Lamb from 2021. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. The creature has come down from the mountains breathing heavily and is walking through a snowy valley. It frightens a small herd of horses and then comes to Ingvar and Maria's barn where they keep sheep and rams. After his visit, one of the sheep comes out of its stall and falls down exhausted. There is a blizzard outside. It is Christmas, but Ingvar and Maria are looking out the window anxiously, not realizing that a creature with heavy breathing is looking at them. It is spring. Ingvar and Maria are preparing the land for sowing, feeding the sheep, and doing other chores. They don't notice their dog cautiously peering into the barn, as if someone from another world had moved in. Finally, the lambing season begins, when the ewes give birth to little lambs. At lunch, the Morrisons discuss the latest news they've heard on the radio or TV, and the rest of the time they go about their routine farm life. One day they heard a dog barking from the barn. When they came, they realized that another lamb was getting ready to be born. It was coming out with its head forward. Ingvar and Maria did not immediately realize that something was wrong with the lamb. But when the lamb was fully developed, it turned out that the ewe had given birth to a human baby with a lamb's head. It was a girl. Instead of a right arm, she had a sheep's leg. Ingvar and Maria were very surprised by the situation, but they accepted this child. They decided that it was a miracle, and that happiness had finally knocked on their door. The fact is that Maria lost her daughter Ada a few years ago. They decide to name this girl after their daughter. They take her into their home and care for her as if she were their own child. Maria takes care of Ada, feeds her milk, bathes her, and wraps her up. When she puts her to bed, Ingvar brings an old crib from the barn. He cleaned it and put it in the house. Maria quickly became attached to the girl, but Ingvar had a harder time. It was hard for him to see his wife nursing a child again. When he goes to the field on his tractor, he stops and cries. Maria, on the other hand, was haunted by Ada's biological mother. The sheep would come to the window of their bedroom where Ada now lives and keep looking out. Maria tried to chase it away, but it didn't work. Even in the evenings, when Maria and Ingvar sat down to watch TV, the sheep would come to the window and bleat, asking for lambs. Maria had to close the windows to avoid hearing the sheep's sad call. As time passed, Ada grew up as an ordinary person. She was dressed in human clothes and raised as her own child. One day, Maria went to the field on the tractor while Ingvar was doing some work in the barn. Ada was left at home alone. When the husband and wife returned home, Ada was gone. They went to look for her in the neighborhood, although they realized that the girl had little chance of survival. A thick fog descended on the valley, making the search difficult. Ingvar and Maria split up to cover a larger search area. Finally, they met up and saw the sheep that had given birth to Ada in the field. At its feet was a girl. She was completely naked, lying in the cold grass. Maria took Ada in her arms and Ingvar covered her with his jacket. For this act, Maria was angry with the sheep and yelled at it. Summer has come. Wildflowers bloomed. Maria wove a wreath for Ada from these flowers. Ingvar was herding sheep. A car is driving along a mountain road with four people in it. One of them is in the trunk. The car stops in a random place and three people get out. They unload the man from the trunk. They dump him on the road and get into the car and drive away. This man turns out to be Ingvar's brother. His name is Peter, and he is a former musician who loves parties and a fun lifestyle. Whenever Peter accumulated debts or committed other reckless acts in the city, he would run away to his brother in the mountains. There is quiet, fresh air, and no one will find him. And now Peter is walking across the plain to Ingvar's house. He hopes that his brother will give him shelter and food. Maria and Ingvar are sleeping soundly in their beds. Maria has a nightmare in which she is surrounded by sheep with burning eyes. They are shouting and looking at her threateningly. Maria feels uneasy. She senses an impending disaster and wakes up. Outside the window, the sheep that gave birth to Ada is bleeding again. Maria can't stand it any longer. She gets out of bed, takes an air rifle, goes outside, and fires the weapon. Then Maria drags the sheep away from the house and buries it. When she returns home, she passes close to where Peter is hiding. He saw what Maria did. The woman enters the house, washes herself, and goes to bed. In the morning, Ingvar finds his brother in the pantry. He has spent the night on an old sofa. Ingvar invites him to stay, and Peter agrees. He invites his brother inside to have lunch. During lunch, Maria and Ingvar introduce Peter to Ada. Ingvar's brother is shocked by what he sees. He tries not to show his emotions. After lunch, Ingvar and Peter go outside to take care of business, but Peter does not help his brother for long and goes inside. He hears Maria bathing in the bathtub with Ada and goes to watch. When Ingvar notices him, Peter tries to ask about Ada, but his brother warns him that if Peter wants to live with them, he must live with Ada without asking questions. The sowing season has begun. Maria drives the tractor and Ingvar and Peter plant potatoes in the ground. 
During a smoke break, Ingvar goes to visit Ada. Maria treats Peter to coffee. Peter clearly hinted that he would not mind spending the night with Maria, but the woman abruptly cut off his attempts at courtship. The next day, Ingvar and Maria decided to sort out the things in the barn. They called Pitur for help, but he was not used to working for long hours. He just sat in a chair and tried to talk to Ada. The guy picked a bunch of grass and offered her something to eat. Ingvar saw this and got angry. He yelled at his brother and took Ada away with him. However, Peter did not calm down. While his brother and his wife were sleeping, he took an air rifle. Later, he took Ada with him and took her to a field. He brought her to where Maria had buried the sheep. Peter believes that Ada is not a person, but a mutant who should not live. He points a gun at her and is about to pull the trigger, but cannot do so. When Maria wakes up in the middle of the night, she sees that Ada is not in her crib. Maria goes to look for her in the next room. Ada has settled down in the arms of a sleeping Pitur. After that, their life went back to normal. Maria visited her daughter's grave with Ada. Ingvar read bedtime stories to the girls, and Uncle Peter began to spend more time with his niece. One day, Peter and Ada went fishing, leaving Maria and Ingvar home alone. While Peter and Ada were setting their nets and talking on the lake, his brother and his wife were making love. On the way home, Ingvar's tractor breaks down, and Peter and Ada have to walk to the farm. They catch some fish and have dinner waiting for them at home. A happy Ingvar and Maria play cards. During this, Ingvar repeatedly pours himself and his brother a drink. The latter is in a bad mood after his tractor broke down. By the evening, they are all drunk and sit down to watch a handball game. However, their favorite team loses. Ada doesn't want to be with the people because they are shouting and getting angry. She goes outside where a creature with heavy breathing is waiting for her. Ingvar's dog tries to lunge at the creature, but it makes the dog very sick with one blow. After the team loses, Maria decides to cheer up the men. She turns on an old cassette with a video of Peter's band. They start dancing and having fun, not noticing that Ada is missing. After dancing, they start playing handball, and when Ingvar is about to fall over, Maria and Peter drag him into the bedroom. By this time, Ada returns from the street. She goes to bed with Ingvar. Maria goes to the kitchen to clean up a bit and throw away the empty beer cans. Peter also comes here. He again tries to hit on Maria, but she stops his attempts. Then Peter uses manipulation. He asks her if Ada knows what Maria did to her biological mother. Maria listens to him and gives up. She doesn't want Peter to tell the girl about it. That's why she agrees to make love to him. But Maria is going to be tricky. She lures Peter into the pantry, then pushes him inside and locks the door. To prevent Pitur's screams from waking her husband, Maria sits down at the piano and starts playing. The next morning, when Pitur wakes up, Maria gathers his things, takes the money, and drives him to the bus stop. She gives him the money and asks him to leave. When the bus arrives, Pitur gets on and goes to the city. When Ingvar woke up, no one was home. He had breakfast with Ada, got dressed, and went to repair the tractor. He took the girl with him. He did not manage to repair the machine, but on the way home, Ingvar found his dog in a bad condition. Meanwhile, Maria returned to the empty house and was gripped by an inexplicable anxiety. When Maria went outside, she heard a gunshot in the distance and ran toward the sound. A creature with the body of a man and the head of a ram shot. It killed Ingvar and took Ada with it. It was this creature that came to the barn last winter to conceive a child with the sheep. Maria found Ingvar in the field, but it was too late. Her husband died in her arms. Maria realized that Ada had been taken by the creature that came down from the mountains. If you watched the video so far, you should know that I am happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Oleha Recapped was with you. See you soon.